fractions of collections. We have looked at different models to represent fractions to help us understand them. This includes fraction bars, points on the number line, and fractions of shapes. Now we are looking at how we use fractions. We'll do this by looking at fractions of a collection of things. Say for example, I have 16 beach balls and I want to know how many 1 8 is. To work this out, I would divide my collection into 8 equal groups. So 16 divided by 8 equals 2. 1 8 of 16 is 2. But what if I wanted to know what 5 8 is? I know that 1 8 is 2, so 2 8 is 4, 3 8 is 6, 4 8 is 8, and 5 8 is 10. So 5 lots of 1 8 is 10. Let's look at another example. Say I had 30 pumpkins and I wanted to give away 4 tenths of them. First, because the denominator is 10, I divide them into 10 equal groups. So 1 tenth equals 3. Then I select 4 groups. So 4 lots of 3 equals 12. So 4 tenths of 30 is 12. When finding a fraction of a collection, we use the denominator to divide the collection into equal parts. Then we use the numerator to select the number of equal parts. If we get stuck, using arrays is a powerful way to help us solve a problem. Here, there are 20 traffic cones. To help us find fifths, we can organise them into an array of five columns. Each column is one fifth of 20, so four is one fifth of 20. If we want three fifths, three lots of four is 12, so three fifths of 20 equals 12. You can see when it is organised into an array, the answer is easier to find. When working out fractions of quantities or collections of things, we use the denominator to divide our collection into equal parts, then we use the numerator to select the number of parts. Being able to imagine this visually is important for understanding how to use fractions.